frame one, you know, to start to start at the get go, this is his first collaboration yeah. with Alan Howarth as a composer. The opening credits, when that music starts kicking in, there's I, I, I struggle to think of another John Carpenter film where the end, the beginning credits, just that alone, yeah. and there's nothing fancy about them. White, you know, white text on black on black frame. Oh, you're, you're in it. It's a phenomenal just, score. Because we, uh, I, first of all, I love the scoring. Uh, and, you know, I called you right before I started watching this, and we made the, uh, the comment of maybe watching them backwards, you know, watching Escape from L.A. first, Escape from New York. Uh, well, I went ahead and did that for the review of this. I'm very curious to get that perspective on it. Well, what's cool is that I love the, I love the uh, you know, the music in Escape from L.A., which has got that little bit of Western tinge to it. Bam, bam. Down, kind of like the little rock rock deal, just down, down, mm-hmm. down. But when Escape from it, when Escape from New York hit, that's a classic Carpenter composed, produced score that you could tell that Carpenter was behind the keyboard. It sounded Carpenter. I have a myriad of issues with the Escape from LA score, um, and mainly it was it was. Um, we'll we'll get to that. Escape from L.A. It's quintessential Carpenter. Yeah. And the scores he did in conjunction with. I mean, Escape from New York. Or Escape from New York. I'm sorry. Yeah. And the scores he did. This was the first score he did with Alan Howarth, who was his engineer, yeah. who helped him kind of. This is the first score that he actually could watch the film and score it too. Yeah. But when you hear this, uh, followed by Halloween three, followed by uh, Chris, you know, he did uh, Christine with him. He did the thing with him. With the stuff that wasn't Ennio Morricone. Yeah. Uh, Big Trouble in Little China. Like that, that partnership, that that relationship just spawned the Carpenter yeah. sound. Man, when and by the time the, you got to low synth, don 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 with the pads on top, man, it's just easy. It's I love so it. easy, and I, I think that's why you know when it got easy to, to a, listen to, not easy to actually do. It no, was, no, sorry, we've learned we've learned that it's hard to, <laughs> you know, give me a John Carpenter thing. It's not, it's not, uh, it's not that easy. Well, that that was what I, mean, I guess you know between those two that. The first one, the music, the music was just part of the film. It didn't, I mean, you didn't, like, stop and go, hmm, what is that? That's, yeah. That was kind of the problem I had with Escape from L.A. was that they're throwing in, a, I mean, obviously it was done in the 90s, so they're throwing in a film lot of 90s, soundtrack. too. There's a distinction. There is, separation. and that's... So, you know, I, I stopped, you know, I was like, I caught myself Come once on, or twice yeah. going, oh, I know that song. Yeah. It, and, and it took me out of the movie. Yeah. And you know what? That betrays the very... Thank you. Thank you very much. You know, Carpenter always said music in a film is like carpet. It lays down and it cushions the ride, and you don't recognize it. You never realize, you never notice the carpet in a room. That's what music should be. It's the carpet. Yeah. And with Escape from New York, it's exactly that. It get, you know, it just helps you go through, helps you go through the room. Whereas with Escape from L.A. Every scene was a different style, and it, you know he collaborated with Shirley Walker on Escape from LA. Yeah. And I'm sorry if we're jumping kind of right into music, but with John Carpenter, that's kind of. But it also kind of goes with the vice versa. It kind of goes with the vice versa. Uh, <laughs> this for that. This for that. There were scenes in Escape from LA that would go from the the country western kind of the twang, yeah. but then there would be the the reflections back to the original Escape from New York score, the original theme. Then you would get Shirley Walker coming in there with these John Williams Spielberg kind of orchestral stuff. Yeah, yeah. Then you would have some stuff that was kind of like a 70s porn kind of wah-wah, 